Welcome to day two of my BMW K1600 GTL ride from Tempe, Arizona. Today I'm going to Socorro, New Mexico. everyone, welcome back to Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. As I told you yesterday, I'm riding this 2022 BMW K1600 GTL from uh, California all the way back to Texas. And I'm a Goldwing guy. I mean, come on. I've been riding Goldwings for almost 16 years over 200,000 miles on four different gold wings. So what am I doing on this BMW K1600? Well, as I mentioned yesterday, this is not my motorcycle. This belongs to BMW Motorrad, and they have uh, loaned it to me so that I can do a long-term extensive review of this motorcycle. Now this this uh, motor vlog is not sponsored and this series of videos is not sponsored by BMW. They didn't pay me to write great things about this motorcycle. But this video is sponsored by Lidlox. Thank you Lidlox for sponsoring this video. So today, right now, I'm heading north on 87 in Arizona toward Socorro, New Mexico. Uh, I got started about 5.15 this morning. I got an early start because the sun's already coming up here. So I figured I'd better, uh, I'd better get started while it's cool, or relatively cool. It's uh, 89 degrees already. So it's going to be a really hot one again today, I'm afraid. When I pulled into Tempe uh, yesterday morning at 10... 45, I think I pulled into the hotel at 1045, but by 1015 it was already up to 108 degrees. I mean, I don't ever remember riding in heat like this. So the first thing I did when I got up this morning uh, from the Aloft Hotel, I had the bike parked in a really good place underneath the cover in the front, right next to the office. And, of course, the first thing I did is go down and load up the bike. I did that about 4.45 this morning. And I went ahead and uh, had to take off the uh, UltraGuard bike cover. I would like to say that uh, Big Bike Parts stepped up and sent me a full-size bike cover. Actually, it's for a Honda Goldwing for the 2001 to 2017 model. So it's not specifically made for this motorcycle, uh, but they felt like it might be the closest fit, so they went ahead and sent me that. And so I've been able to cover up the bike every night, and it, it only takes a couple of minutes to put it on the bike. It's a big cover. I've never used a full-size cover before. But I want to thank uh, Big Bike Parts for sending me that Ultra Guard cover. And uh, I, ha I do have an Ultra Guard cover for my uh, Goldwing, for my 2018 Goldwing, but I only have the half cover and have always found it to be uh, sufficient for my needs, but a lot of guys like the full-size cover. 
So as you can see, there's some really pretty landscape around here. It's that desert style landscape, but there are some little hills and mountains here and there. And I should report to you about the uh, navigation system. Uh, right now, I, I am not using it because the, what I did is I laid out each day's route in base camp, which is the way I always do it. I exported the GPX files in base camp, and then I imported them into the BMW Motorrad app. So I had a different route for each day. And uh, it has worked fine the last two days. But today, for some reason, I import the route, or I open the imported route, and it uh, gives me a message that there's no route. And I don't know why. So I, I, don't, I don't think I did anything different on day three than I did on day two. So right now I'm riding without navigation, probably the first time I've done that in 10 or 12 years. Uh, when I get to a certain stop, I'll look and see. Uh, I know I have to go about 80 miles on 87 North. So I think when I come to the first town, I think there's a town about 75 miles ahead, I'll stop, probably get gas, take a drink of water. I've got to stay hydrated today. And maybe I'll look and see if there's something I did wrong or if maybe there's another way to skin the cat, so to speak. The navigation system on this motorcycle is, it's not a built-in satellite navigation. It works off of your cell phone, off of your smartphone, using the BMW Motorrad, I think they call it Motorrad Connected app. And uh, it sits actually up here inside this little box. And uh, when I do my full review of the bike, I'll talk more about that. Like I said yesterday, I'm not going to really get into reviewing specifics of the motorcycle while I'm on this ride. Uh, but I can tell you that it, it is definitely a long distance touring bike. Uh, this bike is made for the open road, I can tell you that much. Uh, any more than that, any more specifics, like I said, I'm going to do a full review, in depth, step by step, detailed, every feature I can find on this motorcycle I'm going to talk about. And then I'm going to do a separate video where I do a head-to-head head -head comparison, my opinion of course, but a head-to-head -head comparison of the 1600 GTL to the uh, Honda Goldwing GL1800. So keep an eye out for those videos. And by the way, if you're a motorcycle enthusiast, I don't care if you're a BMW enthusiast, a Goldwing enthusiast, a Harley or Indian or Ducati, it really doesn't matter what brand you ride. If you're passionate about motorcycling, I would really appreciate it if you take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when we come out with some new videos, which I'm doing every few days. What do you do with your helmet when you park your bike at a restaurant or at a bike event or even at a friend's house? If you're riding a BMW K1600 like this one, you got a nice big fat top box where you can put the helmet and lock it away. Of course, that's assuming you don't have it all packed with other gear for a road trip. What do you do if you ride a bike that doesn't have a top box? Lidlock Helmet Locks offers a safe, secure, and simple solution. You can install Lidlock's Helmet Locks on just about any motorcycle, like I've done on this 2022 BMW K1600 GTL. Installation took less than 10 minutes. I did it in a hotel parking lot. And to lock up my helmet, I simply slipped this helmet hanger through the D-ring on my helmet, insert it into the lid lock's body, and press that lock button. That helmet ain't going anywhere until I unlock it with the provided key. Oh, and by the way, I have had lid locks on my 2018 Goldwing for several years. So check out lidlocks.com. Yesterday morning as I was getting ready 
to get on the bike, I was setting everything up, and I don't know why, but my helmet slipped out of my hands. I was holding the helmet in my left hand, and it just slipped right out of my hands. Probably fell about one foot before it hit the uh, pavement, and it landed right on top of the helmet. And I didn't realize it until I started riding, but it, it uh, apparently has damaged the sun visor mechanism that lowers my sunshade inside the helmet. So I am going to have to buy a new HJC IS Max 2 helmet or one of the other. Uh, I like HJC helmets. They fit me really good. So I'm going to, when I get to the hotel, I'll probably order a new helmet so it'll be there when I get home. But uh, darn it, really, really uh, not the best time to lose my sunshade since I'm riding into the sun every morning. Ah, oh, it's getting a little cool now. I hit a little cool spot there. Dropped down to 80 degrees. Boy, 80 degrees right now feels like 60. This ride to Payson on 87 North turned out to be one of the prettiest rides of the entire day. I mean, look at these uh, canyons and the curves and the sunlight and the clouds and the sky. I mean, everything was just perfect for a beautiful day of riding and an excellent road with in excellent condition. In Payson, I take Highway 260 East to Sholo, Arizona. Also some very nice riding. I just didn't have the great sunlight that I had on the first leg. Well, I stopped for gas again in Sholo. And the uh, data function on my phone is stopped working. I don't know if that's because I'm out of data or what's going on, but the bottom line is I do not have any access to Google Maps or anything. I know from the last time I looked at Google Maps, it said I was supposed to be on 60 East. This is 60 East, or at least it's going to take me to 60 East. So this is the way I'm going to go. That might be the last time I need to get gas, I hope, until I get to Socorro. I'm pulling into Socorro, New Mexico. It is about uh, 1248 on my clock, but I'm not sure if I gained an hour I'm, or lost an hour. I'm, it might actually be 148, I'm not sure. I've been on the road since 515 this morning, so you can do the numbers. I did stop a few times to take a drink of water, stay hydrated. Um, I have not eaten today because I got such an early start, but uh, as soon as I get into town, I'll see if I can't find some place to have some lunch. Well, I was able to find my hotel, Holiday Inn Express. There was a Chevron right across the street, so I filled up with gas, went to McDonald's and had some lunch, and then headed straight to the hotel. If you like this video, please click that like button below and don't forget to check out tomorrow's motor vlog where I ride from Socorro to Midland, Texas on this BMW K1600.